you ever wondered what happens in those milliseconds between frames? Those pixels don't just magically appear on screen. So what does happen? This is the job of Flutter's multi-phase rendering pipeline. It's Flutter's job to handle input, run animations, build the widget tree, lay out the render objects, paint the render objects, and composite everything into a single image. Whenever part of the widget tree receives user input, animation, or changes in some way, Flutter enters the build phase. In this phase, the framework reconstructs the widget tree by calling only the necessary build methods. The build phase updates the element tree, which updates the render object tree. Render objects are responsible for layout and painting. During the layout phase, Flutter walks the tree of render objects, passing down constraints. Most widgets use box constraints, which are two-dimensional constraints for a specific type of render object called a render box. Child render objects pass up a size to the parent object. The size of the render box has to be within the constraints that were passed down. So when you're debugging layout issues, you can take a look at the incoming box constraints passed to the render object in question and see what size was calculated. Once the layout phase is complete, Flutter enters the paint phase. This is where Flutter calls the paint method on all the render objects. Render objects paint onto a canvas using methods like draw rect and draw line. If a render object has children, it should paint those in its paint method too. Calling paint child seems like something the framework should do, but actually it allows the render object a lot of flexibility. For example, a render object can draw more on top of its children. After the painting is done, it's time for the compositing phase. Compositing means combining images into a single picture. But what do we need to combine? Well, painting doesn't happen on a single canvas. To see why, think about scrolling a block of text. When the user scrolls down, we shouldn't need to update the text again, only the scroll bar. We just need to reposition the text. To solve this, Flutter uses another tree, the layer tree. This tree contains all the paint operations for each layer. Lower layers are painted last and everything is sent to the Flutter engine to be rasterized. By the way, each layer is painted separately. So Flutter tries to group multiple render objects into the same layer. But if you wrap a widget in a repaint boundary, Flutter will give its render object its own layer, and this can be a way to avoid extra painting. Finally, the engine receives the updated layer tree containing the drawing instructions and converts them into pixels. This is a process called rasterization. If parts of the layer tree remain unchanged, the engine can reuse those pixels. So don't forget to try a repaint boundary if you're seeing a lot of unnecessary painting. Creating a separate layer can be a useful tactic for performance. For more on Flutter's render pipeline, check out the links below and head on over to flutter.dev.